Okay, I gotta pull up my channel. Do you care if I smoke on the stream, or do you want me to mute myself? You can smoke. I'm drinking. I mean, we're not role models here. <laughs> All right, Wade, say something. Hello. Galaxus? Ebola with cheese. All right, Wade, say something. Hello. Galaxus? Okay, Galaxus, your button's a little bit low. If you can boost that, I'd appreciate it. My what? Your volume's low. Either have a Red Bull or put your settings up to... A higher volume level, because you're. I can hear Wade just fine, but you're a little bit low. I can hear you. I know you're there, but it's hard to, to, to hear what you're saying. Is that better? I hope so. Okay, we are joining a new fire team. We will start the stream in about 30 seconds. That is music. <clears throat> uh, I don't hear any music. Uh, the official sponsor of tonight's uh, stream is the drink in my hand. It's called a Cape Cod. Anyone know what's in a Cape Cod? Nope. It's only two ingredients. I would assume fish oil, but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Cape Cod is vodka and cranberry juice. I wish you'd check with me before making insane promises. Okay, let's start the stream in three, two, one. <laughs> Alrighty then, guess who is back? Hello and welcome to Shady Streams. Tonight we are doing Destiny 1. We are doing the original campaign to help out one of my co-hosts. Uh, Galaxus, how's it going? Good, how's it going? Alright, we got another buddy with me. Wade, what's up Wade? Hey Shady, how you doing man? Alright. You guys up for some D1 for about an hour or so? Yup. Okay, uh, Galaxus, what mission is this? It's where we're doing it for you. Now, since this is Destiny, I assume there's going to be waves of enemies because uh, Horde mode is the default mode in every activity in Destiny's nine year history. And it's usually three waves of stuff that we have to kill. Okay, so, Glaxus, you're a Titan. And mm -hmm. Wade, you're a Titan. Amazing. They can yep. warp across the only forces. question I have is, is, is there enough crayons to go around? Hmm. I am a warlock, and this is D1, I'm a warlock. I could go hunter. I'm comfortable on a hunter in D1. I'm not comfortable being a Titan anywhere. Maybe as a Halloween costume, but it best be good. And this is D1, guys. Throw that grenade. You'll have it back in seconds. Uh, on my end, where I bring to the table for this stream, uh, I have some trivia questions. Three categories. Sports, cartoons, and music. Uh, after this mission is over right here, I'll let one of my co-hosts pick one of the categories, and we'll go over the two questions. You get no points, no rewards, no prizes, but if you get it wrong, I'm going to call you names. I know how to find a gateboard. Each vex is part of a giant network that spreads through the mantle of the entire planet. If I can just get into their system, we can draw a gateboard out. Okay, guys, you want to pick one of the categories? Uh, yeah, sports, music, and cartoons. Anyone have a preference? We're going to get to all of them in the next half hour, so, I mean, <clears throat> it's not all that hard. I mean, they're interesting at, at best. Uh, one of them I got really I got really wrong. Two I came up with on my own. Cartoons. Cartoons. All right. Uh, you guys being a little bit younger than me, you may not get this one right, but that's only because you may not have been exposed to what my question is going to be. But uh, you guys are familiar with the Three Stooges, I hope. If not, your parents did you wrong. 
I was the president of the Three Stooges Club in high school. So everyone knows who Curly is. Curly Howard uh, on the Three Stooges. Real name's uh, Horowitz. Uh, and all three of them were Jewish, doesn't matter. Um, there have been two cartoon characters based on Curly's personality. Who are they? One's a bit older, an older cartoon. One's a new, much newer cartoon. I would have no idea. Okay, that's a valid answer. Wait, any idea? Tom and Jerry? Nope. There, there, there are two separate characters on two separate cartoons. They have the same personality. One's, one's a straight-up ripoff of Curly. The other one kind of does Curly as a, a little bit every now and then. But his main personality isn't Curly's, but he does do Curly impressions a lot. Is this from a popular cartoon? It's a popular, relative, within the last 10 years, cartoon. Not, not quite as popular as The Simpsons or Family Guy, but very close. And one, one of them is a, a Hanna-Barbera character you guys probably wouldn't even have ever heard of. But he was a straight up copy of Curly. Straight up copy. They weren't hiding it. It was very obvious. I'll give you the older one. Uh, it's J Jabberjaw is the older one. I don't even know what that is. See? Yeah, I figured the rage. But the, new, the newer one, you, if, you knew, if you knew who Curly Howard was, the Three Stooges, and you ever watched the show, you would know the answer. It's not Family Guy, it's not The Simpsons, it's not South Park. It's like the next tier down in popularity. It had, ran eight, eight seasons, eight to ten seasons. It was canceled once and brought back. It's not Family Guy. It's a lot of shows. Yeah, I know. Um, not King of the Hill, that's would be older. Um, Set the Future. Ooh, oh, that's, Futurama. That Futurama, what, who, who, what character in Futurama does the curly impressions a, a lot? Um, I don't know. I barely watch it. Okay, it's uh, Dr. Zoiberg. See, my guess is either him or Bender. Nah, Bender's, just Bender's just more of a mo guy. <laughs> Bite my shiny ass. Bender's just an asshole. <laughs> okay, that's the one cartoon question. The next cartoon question, uh, Wade, you were kind of close on a, a couple. Uh, what real life TV show is the Flintstones based on? Up to the point where there was almost a lawsuit. Flintstones were based on a real life TV show. I mean, way too obvious of what the show was until the real life TV show the creator and star actually thought about suing the Flintstones over it. But decided against it. He didn't want to be the guy that killed the Flintstones. It's an older TV show. I'll tell you that much. You still should, even even you, Wade, being so young, you should still have known of it. It's 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 a it's the sitcom that defined how all sit, all sitcoms from then on have been done for the last seventy years. It's the it's had, no no. I don't know. There's, there's so, so many, many sitcoms. sitcoms. This is, well, I said 70 years. Was Friends on 70 years uh, ago? Um, if it was 70 on 70 years, years ago, damn, they look great today. Is it the 50s? It the Golden Girls doesn't make any sense. Golden Girls was um, in the 80s, man. God, I hate you young kids who think that the 90s is ancient times. It is pretty far back for me, considering I wasn't born yet. We had a shady question about refrigerators, and um, one 15-year-old made a comment in chat that when did we first get refrigerators, he said 1988. Like, they had refrigerators in the 50s, dude. Okay, did it have color or no? No. I mean, later, oh, no, later, no, later, later they were in color. Like, there's three, you, can, you can find Three Stooges episodes in color now. The oldest show, show I think I know of is, uh, Alf. Wow, that's, a, that's the 80s, man. That's, a, that's a, the only one I know of, the Alf and the Gold. I don't really watch a lot of sitcoms. Alright, uh, I'm sure Galaxus, you don't have a, you don't have a guess? 
Here's what we have on Gate Gate. I wouldn't know. Three stories tall. Okay, well, uh, have you ever heard of the Honeymooners? No. Wow. Well, the episodes still hold up. Again, they set the basis for all sitcoms to come after it. Every every sitcom on now or since the 1950s has been based on the Honeymooners. How you set up a joke, you have a situation, there's a misunderstding, blah, blah, blah. But the Flintstones are based on the Honeymooners to the point where Jackie Gleason, the star and producer of the Honeymooners, was going to sue uh, the producers of the Flintstones, but decided not to. And to tie things in a little bit, uh, I had a shady question a couple of months ago, was what uh, co comedic icon was first on TV in a Three Stooges short in the 1930s? Nobody got that right, because nobody else is old, but it was Lucille Ball was in uh, Three Little Pigskins. Uh, Three Stooges short. I'm just following you guys. I haven't been here in six years. So I have to, you know, get some get some answers out of you guys. What is your, what are your current current favorite cartoon and all time favorite cartoon? This this is an opinion. You can't go wrong with an opinion. I'm picking up a heavy conflux nearby. I can use it to get into the. I count my current favorite as like one I, I can sit there and watch for hours without playing yeah. it all. Yeah. Yeah, you can uh, uh, binge watch it. Jerry. Okay. I can sit there and watch that all day. I don't, I don't need, need words. words. It's pure violence, I guess. Um, I'm just a simple man. But well, now, um, which uh, which modern? Looney Tunes. Very good. Uh, which modern cartoon actually does a copy of Tom and Jerry on their show? Simpsons. Yeah, itchy and scratchy. No, no. Galaxus, favorite cartoons? Probably Adventure Time and regular show. Okay. I can say that too, though. Those are some pretty dope shows. Uh, once I can binge watch, uh, I, I grew up on Looney Tunes. Bugs Bunny is my hero. Um, a modern one, uh, I'd, go, I'd go Family Guy. Uh, that, that can get really dark, really dark, really quick. And I like how they don't like to have, I mean, I like South Park. I, I watch, I've watched most seasons of The Simpsons, but I just I haven't gone back and watched reruns. There's only so, there's only so much time in the day you can you can watch stuff. I'm not allowed to watch South Park around anyone because my grandma thinks it's the worst show in the world, and my grandpa he, he doesn't care what I watch. But when I turn on South Park in front of him, he told me to turn it off. So, well, yeah, South Park, especially the first couple of seasons, was, can get, I mean, can, can get really raunchy. Uh, okay, I just turned Chad on. I forgot I had, didn't have it on. So, Jader, how's it going? Uh, he, he says SpongeBob is a classic. <laughs> SpongeBob is oh, yeah. a quality. I, I watched it with my kids, but, you know, there were some jokes that they didn't get that I did. And that's on purpose. You can look up YouTube videos about even, even Disney cartoons, jokes for adults only. That kids aren't supposed to get, but supposed to keep. They know parents are watching it, so they throw I'm some. Like, um, Daffy, Daffy Duck, Duck apparently, apparently, because, because the, the Warner Bros. Bros. has control of DC, because uh, they, they own it. Own it. Um, he actually, actually became, became a Green Lantern, Lantern for a short, short period. Wow. He like I think, I think he, he stole, stole the ring off of Hal Jordan, Jordan, one of the one strongest the Green Lanterns. Lanterns. And, and I, I can't, can't remember, remember how, how he did it. But no, they're, they, they all, all occupy the, the same, same universe. universe. So, so do the, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Ninja Turtles and, and Scooby-Doo. Interesting. Now, I thought it was weird when the, a couple of the new Star Trek series did a crossover. It was um, Strange New Worlds and Below Decks did a crossover, which is odd because Below Decks is a cartoon. But they had the cartoon characters go through a portal and become real people. Yeah, they did a um, Star Trek and Green Lantern crossover too, which I actually had the comic book for. It's a very interesting comic book. They also done that with uh, DC and Marvel too. Okay, you guys, you guys, explain this listen to me, Wade or Galactus. Uh, Jader says the Amazing World of Gumball is good too. 
I don't know what that is. That is a good one. <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, it's a, a good show. Um, What's the premise? It's basically, I mean, it's, it's, it's cartoon it's animals. Um, the dad's a bunny, the uh, mom's a cat, the daughter's a bunny. Um, one, one of the sons, sons is a cat, and the other one's a fish. Uh, but he's adopted, <laughs> the fish is adopted. Uh, and he grew legs somehow. Uh, nice. He's a magical fish, I don't know. Oh, um, there's there's a, 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 a what is it a, a mud skipper or something that can sweep air. Like longfish can breathe air. All he wears is socks. They have not uh, explained them to why he just wears socks, and everyone else wears fully clothed. Um, besides the balloon, the balloon is uh, the only one I don't really know how it works. <laughs> He eats fruit through the hole that the air comes goes through, and then it just vanishes like it's not there anymore. So I don't know where the fruit goes. Oh, it's like cat dog. You don't want to know how they poop. They've also done surgery on him, and they like started taking air out, and uh, one of the air started pulsating. So they figured out it was hard. <laughs> So I'm not sure how his organs work. Um, uh, it's, it's an interesting show. Now, can I sit down there and watch it all day? Probably not. Oh, well, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Uh, when you guys haven't mentioned Rick and Morty. My my nephew is about your age, and he loves that show. Well, the main guy doesn't do it anymore. The show, he's not a part of it anymore. So I don't really. I don't know how to feel about it. Now, if they bring in a guy who sounds like him, I think I'll be okay, but... If they don't, I, I might be a little disappointed, because I'm gonna be upset re-watching all the old episodes and coming back to the new ones and the voice actor being different. So, I, I don't know. I would say Rick and Morty, but... The show is, uh... Um, very controversial at the moment because of the uh, creator. So I hope you've heard about what he's done, Shady. No, I I do not pay attention to any news whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, I'm probably not going to explain it on here. Nah. You just nah. Have to look that up at a later date. Um. Now, is it a good, a good show, show by, by itself, itself without, without him? him? Uh, yeah. The, the first, first two, two seasons, seasons, I believe, had no story, story to him at all. It was all random. random. And then, and then season, season three, three through six, six, I think is what we're on now. Five, five or six. six. They, they actually have, have a story. story. They're following a storyline now, so... Uh, and, they and they actually have comics, so... If they don't, they don't continue, continue the show, show, I know they'll continue, continue the comics. Is this Rick and Morty, I think, was supposed, Morty, I think was supposed to go 11, 11 seasons, from what I understand. understand. But they, but they only, only have, have, I think, like clearance, clearance for nine of them right now. Nine seasons or something like that. Which, Which is crazy. Is crazy. The fact that they, they have that many. Uh, planned ahead from where they're at now. I guess you're, guess you're going, going to have to step, step inside, inside the ring. Yeah, this is what I was talking about earlier, guys. You can farm exotics here. After you kill the Gate Lord, you pick up whatever he drops and go to orbit immediately. It has to be as quick as possible. And then you come back down to this ex exact spot. You'll start at the boss, and you can do it as many times as go. you have three of coin. Then you get a drop about, I figured it out, it was about every one out of, about 10% drop chance of an exotic. But that's for another day. And you can pretty much speed run this in the beginning if you just get on your sparrow and go, you just fly by all the, all the enemies. Nice. 
This better get us into the Black Guard. Let's go get our key from the Queen. Okay. <laughs> That'll happen too. All right, next category, guys: music or sports. Music. Music. Okay, this one, this one I knew. I had to look up the numbers to get exact figures, but what music album spent the most time on the Billboard Top 200? This is the length, not not, not being number one for five weeks in a row. This is being on the Top 100 chart for the most time. Do we get a year? <clears throat> like a rough... Uh, the album came out in 1973, but it's iconic. Uh, Galaxis, you're gonna, you, I, I believe you're gonna know this one. Or at least I've heard of it. You may not know the answer, but you've heard of the album. Chat, what do you got? What album has spent the most time in the top 200 Billboard album charts? Um, what so, was it, Thriller album? Michael Jackson? Thriller may have the record for the most sales over a, a period of time, like over a year. But Thriller, Thriller's, you know, after it first came out, a year later, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't on the charts. I don't know, though. Okay, uh, Wade? Jader? I'm, I'm thinking. thinking. It is you you think then? Seventies. Uh, yeah, but it's not really a seventies album. It's not it's not like disco or anything. I mean, it's a it's a it's a it's a rock album. It's an excellent strategy. Rock album? Yeah, it's not country. It's not disco. Was no gate lord slain, brother? Oh, um, I don't know what album, baby. Beatles. Uh, you know, with, uh, see, I, I worked in radio for three years, and we had a record book in the office for facts and stuff to look up to make our shows seem intelligent. And if you pick up a, a book of rock and roll records, you see, like, an inch thick of everybody else. Then you see, like, a two-inch thick piece of the Beatles. And then you see, like, a three-inch piece of Elvis. Elvis holds every record for everything ever, except for the question I'm asking. Most of his stuff... Is on uh, gospel that he did. Uh, Pink Floyd's "Dark Side of the Moon" was on the charts top 200 for 968 weeks. Then please. That's almost 20 years. Take what is required. And if you are a 420 kind of person, you know "Dark Side of the Moon" pretty well. I'm a big Pink Floyd fan, so of course I, I knew it. They're geniuses. "The Wall" is the best concept album ever. Came out in '79. 969 weeks. Okay. Next one. What is the most played song on radio ever? That's simple as I can make it. There's actually studies done, formulas, computers. There's one song that has been played over 15 million times on radios throughout the world. What do you think it is? I got this one wrong, big time. I thought it was Hey Jude by the Beatles. In I, sympathy I, I, for their travel. I think I know what it is. <laughs> okay. I, you could, if you get it, I'm going to be impressed. All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey. Mars. 15 million times? 84 North, 32 East. I really don't know. Meridian Bay. But I know it's been played a lot. Yeah, actually, uh, second with 13 million is Brown Eyed Girl. I have by Van Morrison. I never would have, never would have got Should that. Ever need an ally, uh, one of the Stone songs, third. Uh, Wade, Jader, you got a answer for the most played song on the radio ever? Is it one of the Beatles songs? It is not. See, I thought it, I thought it'd be Hey Jude. You agree? At one time, it was Hey Jude. But apparently, this song that came out, I'll give you a hint, came out in the '80s. Good luck. Getting through the exclusion zone. It's one of the most misunderstood songs, also. It's a lot of couple songs, and then whenever the lead singer of the group hears that, he goes, oh. you, you guys 
suck. Is it the creepy? Is it the creepy one? The one that sounds creepy? The one that sounds creepy. You have to define creepy. And how do you sound um, creepy? Well, um, it's, uh, the one where he's watching them. Oh, look who's, on the, uh, look who's on the right track. I'll give you 30 seconds to come up with the title and you win. Called? What's it called? Uh, every, every breath you take. Bingo. Ding, 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 yeah. ding. 15 million times that stupid song has been played on the radio. And couples think it's, it's, it's uh, romantic. It's about a stalker. I, I, I saw that the other day, the other day because, because of, uh, uh, I was watching someone's podcast, podcast and they were talking, talking about, about it. it. They're like, doesn't that, that song, song sound, sound creepy, creepy when you, when like, you like, slow, slow it down? down? And pick apart, apart the lyrics. The lyrics. Yeah, like, well, you, oh, yeah, you do. Without sounds... hearing the song, the catchy tune, and Sting's voice, you just read the lyrics. Like, oh my god, this guy's gonna kill someone. This man's a stalker. Okay, so our last category is sports. Um, I don't know if you guys are sports fans or not, but uh, today was the first day of college football. I watched two and a half games. Um, I like to watch these top-ranked teams demolish weaker teams, like by 50 points. I think it's hilarious. But uh, if, so, with that in mind, two quick, two quick college football questions. What university has won the most national titles? Now, this is national titles. This isn't AP national championships that were broadcast to 50 million people. These Alabama. are national titles. This is Alabama. Uh, Galaxis, you got an answer? Jader? Um, I don't know. I really don't watch sports. Fair enough. Uh, it's not Alabama. If you, if I, if I well, worded, not said them is they're ranked too. If I Usually. worded the question different, the answer would have been Alabama. I think they have like eight <laughs> modern national championships since like 1950. The answer is surprising. Jada went without Emma too. No, the actual answer is Yale. They've been playing football since uh, 1874. So back when there was five teams playing, they won 18 championships in their career. So that's a stumper. That could win you a million dollars someday if you get that question. Yeah, the next question is, what running back has the most rushing yards in a single season in college football history? And I, I will give you, you and I will give you a hint. He went on to he went on to be a uh, NFL star. Is it Tom Brady? Tom Brady's a quarterback. I don't know this. See, I, I don't, don't watch, watch football. football. The only yeah, one I, I ever paid attention to is Arkansas, Arkansas and Alabama. Alabama. Okay. So, I don't know anything about football other than, than what they do. Well, he did it in 1988. He had 2,668 yards rushing in one season. Which is bonkers. Then he went on to play for the Detroit Lions. And right, Galaxis. Barry Sanders. Good job. Okay, that's the shady trivia for this stream. We are a half hour in. We got a half hour to go. Oh, Barry, no, Barry. Uh, and, and Jader got it right just seconds after I said it. So, wow, nice job. Way to be on top of things. I know it takes some time to type, but I'll give you a break. But Barry Sanders was, was phenomenal. These coordinates put the gate to the Black Garden near the lost city of Freehold. It's been buried in the sand since the collapse. Now, the cabal occupy the area. Okay, guys, uh, we get a second. We should have four likes right now. So there's just three of us on the stream and one person in chat. That should be four likes. Is anybody binge watching anything cool right now? Great. Great. The gate to the Black Garden is miles away, really. and the Cabal got a lock on the orbital communication. The new Ahsoka series, that's it. Going to have to break into one of their buses. Uh, this my is Avengers Superman show, show is uh, done, done until, until season two comes out. It's pretty interesting, interesting that Adult Swim wanted to do a Superman TV show, an animated one at that. And that so far it has no cussing. 
which is this very is unusual for the boss. Yeah. 800 Ooh. pounds and highly militarized. They blow up planets and moons just for getting in their way. Just so you know what we're dealing with. Inside. I've been going old school and watching uh, a lot of uh, Married with Children from years ago. I can't believe that show was allowed to be on the air. It would never fly nowadays. No way in hell. There'd be protests. But it's refreshing not to watch a PC show. People don't like protesting. But then again, they don't really like complaining. Like, nobody where I live is like, if you're going to complain, go somewhere else. We've been poor our whole lives. Just move on. But where I live, we're all dirt farmers, so it doesn't matter. Just, how did you here. just die? <laughs> you take a missile for me? I guess that was their failure. Yeah, I mean, I shot a missile at your face while I was sitting in front of you. Oh, so you killed yourself. I remember the trailer, one of the Sparrow first successes. Destiny trailers. It was a true fire team, Hunter, Warlock, and uh, Titan. Uh, the Hunter was a female, and she was the bold one. And they're doing a spot on the mountain that facing Cabal and Mars in one, one of the sections. And it's like, anybody speak Space Turtle? And then the, uh, uh, I think it was the Warlock, did a blink and dropped Cabal grenades at, at the. Cabal's feet. There's a few outposts nearby. Let's check them out. I was like how all all their uh, trailers for D1, uh, all the music was Led Zeppelin. It's like we need music for this. Yeah, something classical. And then the immigrant song will come on. It's like, oh sweet. I think it'd be more funny if it was like Led Zeppelin. I just wait to the super. Guardians works. If you're on your sparrow, you just go left and right without going forward or backward. Remember, there used to be a glitch where you could hop on your sparrow with a hand cannon and shoot your hand cannon on your sparrow. I don't know if that's still a thing. They fixed it. Watch the, the new Flash movie or no? No, uh, I tried to watch the Flash series because I was told by a Guardian friend that it was awesome, but then I realized that his taste and mine are totally wrong, opposite. So I tried to watch it, didn't get into it, and I think I'm lost. Am I lost? The series is actually 100 times better than the movie. 
the movie is well, the movie is done by a different person, but um, I just hate it. it. I'm very, I'm very, very picky about movies. I watch maybe two or three movies a year, and I will attempt to watch ten. And for me, I used to be really into movies, and I realized that all movies are based on like Shakespeare plays, comedy or tragedy. But if I'm watching a movie and in the first five minutes I know how it's going to end, I. Don't commit to two hours to watch it. There's another, There's another cabal, cabal post right near the gate. Let's hope this key works. Well, I'm upset. Mostly because the movie was garbage. They could have went for the comic book accurate uh, version of what they were doing on the movie, but they chose not to. Instead, they brought back. Which, which, which I wasn't mad about this. They brought back two original Batman. Uh, which, uh, which was, was uh, an, interesting an interesting choice, choice to, do, to do, rather than do uh, Thomas Wayne instead of the... What they, what they did was they brought back Michael Keaton and uh, George, George Clooney. Oh, wow. Two of my yeah. least favorite Batmans. Yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't like George, George Clooney because of the, the nipple, nipple thing. thing. But, uh... Michael, Michael Keaton's Keaton was okay. okay. I'd rather, I'd rather than bring back, back Christian, Christian Bale, Bale, but you know, that's, you know, that's just me. me. Uh, they were gonna bring, bring anyone back, back. that would have been the, the one to do. We won't get in until but, uh, the they actually, actually did ask, ask him, him first, first but, but he, he said, said no. no. Uh, because he said he wasn't doing a movie without uh, the director for his Batman, which was Christian Nolan. He didn't want Christopher Nolan to see it as disrespectful. Let's see what he said the only way he was coming back is if uh, Christopher Nolan was the director of the movie, which they weren't going to do, so... Impressive. The Cabal managed to penetrate the Vex cognition mission. Live-action-wise, though, Christian Bell's my favorite. Grown animated, it has to be Kevin Conroy. And video game is this Kevin Conroy. I'm not sure they even understand what the gate is. But if we're going to wait the gate lord's eye and get into the Black Garden, it looks like we're going to have to go through the Cabal. And then Mark, Mark Hamill's my all time favorite Joker. It doesn't matter. Nobody can change my mind on that. Galaxus, you want to bring a gun next time? I can't kill myself. I was two levels under level. <laughs> so that's, why you, that's why you got a fire team, man. He wins the team, he loses the team. And I don't lose. How far, how far are we from the uh, boss fight? Uh, there might be the next one. Okay, we got about 20... Uh, if, we go, if we go over an hour, I'm not going to scream and throw a fit. But we're about 40 minutes in, so... If we get time for a couple more, I hopefully that'll be the boss fight and... Put a bow on this one. We got five likes, I like it. Three watching now and five likes. Who else is watching? Are you guys on, you guys on my stream? Wade, you Okay. I was. Um, so is it considered elder abuse to make, make old people, people play cards against humanity? humanity? I don't know what that is. Glaxus, do you know, you know what that is? is? No. Oh my, oh my gosh, gosh, what's wrong with you people? people? We'll, we'll see if I can find, find the instructions. instructions. I think I got that in the box. No, I don't have them in the box anymore. Well, well the, the, the game, um, is 17, 17 plus. plus. Um, um, it can have, have 4 to 20 players. players. And it, it says, says a party, a party game, game for horrible people. people. It, it has, has jokes, jokes that range from anywhere. anywhere. And, and I, I mean, mean literally, literally anything, anywhere, anywhere it could be. 
absolutely anything. You can joke about 9-11 in this game. <clears throat> this is the <laughs> ultimate uh, get cancelled card game ever. Well, we'll be doing it on my stream. <laughs> but um, one of the, there's like 17 different ways to play this game. And the last one is don't play this game. Go outside. Read a book. Do something with your life. So I don't know. I don't know if it's elder abuse or not. Maybe your chat can tell me if it's considered elder abuse. You think... Someone like me could have intelligent people in chat. Wow, you are really optimistic. I mean, they, 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 might, they, they might, they might know what this game, game is, is, and if it's elder abuse, make a little play it. I did find a bonus question, and it has to do with video games. Something that everyone should have an opinion on, since we're playing a video game on a video game stream on my video game YouTube channel. Uh, and you guys' opinion, I see. This, this, I, I got wrong. Now, don't think I'm a genius because I have these questions and you guys feel like stupid because you get them wrong. You don't think I get these right, do you? I mean, I rarely get anything right in life. I, I was married at one time. Jesus, how stupid am I? So anyway, uh, when was Nintendo founded? Straight up question. I have a plan to charge Galaxus? Galaxus? Chat, when was Nintendo founded? Don't look it up, Jader. We'll be hitting the Cabal where they're the strongest. So I hope you're ready for war. I don't know. I even watched a video about it before. I forgot. Fair enough. I'll give uh, chat a minute. Only a minute. Uh, okay, so Wade, you think you're so smart. What was their first product that they sold? Here we Here go. We go. Uh, let's let's play 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 play. I mean, I know they didn't have a lot of technology back then, so... They didn't have a Nintendo negative 50? No, I'm, 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 I'm thinking it's, it's going to be cards. cards. But it literally could have been, been anything. anything. Most, Most things, things that were popular, popular back, back then were guns, guns cards, cards, and, uh... uh alcohol, alcohol and cigarettes. And cigarettes. So... so it's gotta, it's gotta be, be one, one of those. Of those. <laughs> I think I it'd be, be funny, funny if uh, we found out Nintendo sells whiskey or something. Or something. <laughs> yeah. That's how they invented Mario. Okay, uh, got really drunk and thought it'd be funny to see little Italian man jump in their sewer pipes. Chat says uh, 1950. Uh, no. yeah, uh, Wade, Wade, uh, yeah, I, I know I've, I've done this question at least twice. I don't know if you were on one of my fire teams and I did the shady question, but yeah, it was, uh, actually, you, you were, you were off by six years. 1889, and then the trading cards. I knew it had to be cards or something. The first time I, the first time I asked this question on my podcast, uh, nobody got within a hundred years of it. Well, apparently, um, back then, um, cigarettes had cards in them, and people would collect cards from cigarettes, so maybe that's where they started with cigarettes, and there was cards inside of them. I have no idea. Yeah, I mean, you see the movie, The Old West, they always go up, and what do they order? Shot of whiskey. Shot of whiskey, it's all they ever drank. Yeah. It wasn't whiskey, like I. It wasn't like. It wasn't like. It wasn't. It wasn't rum and coke. It was whiskey. Just shot a straight shot of whiskey. So as a follow up to this question, what event happened that made uh, drinks like more modern, like we have now? There was no daiquiris back then. There was no uh, mai tais or margaritas. What event happened that people started doing drinks in a more modern, more modern way? Prohibition, maybe? I don't know. Galaxus, any idea? I don't know. Why would Prohibition do uh, that? I say Prohibition. Yeah. Uh, because, because people would have to come up with more creative, creative ways, ways to drink, drink without, without getting, getting caught and arrested. arrested. Okay. Uh, I'll give you half credit on that one. It was Prohibition, but it wasn't because they tried to 
not to get caught is that the alcohol they were drinking was so bad because it was homemade they couldn't they couldn't stomach drinking it so they had to start adding stuff to it to even be able to drink it so they're like oh fuck let's put orange juice in this let's put anything in this let's put gasoline in this to make it taste better so essentially they were making moonshine and the moonshine was just too strong uh, they were making bathtub gin And they, they, they had such, such, have, such low quality. Back then. Oh, that, that, that. Did you, but here's a here's a here's a here's a thing. You know, if you like conspiracy theories, and who doesn't like a good conspiracy theory? This one actually turned out to be true. The U.S. government actually poisoned alcohol so people wouldn't drink it, and it, they killed actually over ten thousand people by poisoning alcohol so they wouldn't drink it. Our own government killed ten thousand of its own citizens to try to enforce prohibition. I, I know for a fact they've done worse than that. Now, uh, can I prove it? No, but I know for a fact they've had it. Uh, I've always wanted to do a, a uh, podcast called Shady Conspiracies. I already have it written out. Um, Celtic and myself, we're going to be on it. If I have somebody else that likes conspiracy theories, you're welcome to be on it. But my only problem is being host. I can't really have an opinion. I can just bring up the facts as I know them and not have an opinion. Even though I have an opinion on every one of them, I, I'm not going to portray that. I love the, the conspiracy about JFK where they, uh, they think the government paid the guy to shoot him. But nobody can prove it, so it's just a conspiracy. Oh, it's all in sealed records. Well, from, from what people... I've said on internet and even in other threads, apparently a wire come through for his family. They got paid a huge amount of money the, time, the same time he was put in jail. Um, but the government has come out and denied this, so I don't know. The government denied something? What? Never. It's just, it's, my, my opinion ends here. I, it's pretty convenient that the person accused of killing the president was killed before he could go on trial. I like, I like his, his excuse. excuse. Oh, I did, I did it, it to, to impress, impress a girl. The, girl. the clip That's I like saw of him, he said that he never killed anyone. That, 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 that makes, makes no sense. sense. Why, why, why do you do that why just, just to impress, to impress someone? someone? Yeah, the second, a second shooter was probable. I mean, I don't see how a bullet can do all that. But anyway, how did we all die? How did we all die? I was fine. I was fine. Yeah, yeah. I, I, was, I, I was fine. I was good. Uh, we, we talked about conspiracy theory. Damn it. Okay, never mind. Change the subject. Favorite nursery rhyme growing up? No, favorite children's book ever. I, I, have, a, I have a one because I used to read it to my kids, and I would do the voices, and it was fun. They loved it. But mine was green eggs and ham. And you know, most most fairy tales, especially by the Brothers Grimm, are all freaking horror stories. Um, mine, I don't know what it was called, but mine was about a, a mouse with the cookies. Mouse with cookies? Yeah, he, he kept getting cookies from one of his, his human friends, and then he became greedy and kept taking cookies, and then the human started starving, so the rat felt bad, Aww. and started making the guy cookies, from what I remember. It's not Ratatouille, is it? I, I don't know. It, it wasn't that. I just don't remember what the story was called. Um, I remember it was a yellow cover. And the mouse had overalls. Oh, what mouse doesn't? Um, they were blue and red, I believe. And the kid was a red head, or maybe he was brown. I don't know. He's one of the two. He's either brown headed or he's red headed. I'm pretty sure he had a head, though. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He, was, he had a head. Um, the most controversial here is he's white. Uh, the rat was brown, so. Oh, I give it what, what you will. will. Um, I'm, I'm sure, sure they, they didn't do that intentionally. intentionally. I just, just just nowadays, nowadays that can be taken, taken out of context. context. Just, just had, had to make, make sure everyone, everyone knew that. I didn't, I didn't know. know. I didn't, I didn't do, do anything, anything with the story. 
Men det er bare artistic Det er ikke godt But yeah, the, the rat felt bad or whatever about taking all the cookies because he was being greedy. So he said, Get ready. You know what happens when I open doors. Is interesting. Galaxus, can you answer this question? We haven't got one answer out of you all night. You don't have a favorite children's book? Uh, Galaxus, I recommend for your occupation to be a politician. You have no opinion on anything. <laughs> My opinion is his people's opinion. That's how you win hearts right there. there. Uh, Galactus, I, I'm gonna ch I'm gonna challenge you as a co-host of this stream to come up with a question that you can actually answer. I don't care if it's your favorite dessert, favorite TV show of all time, favorite type of boots to wear. I don't care what it is. I want you to come up with a question for us that you can actually answer. I have a favorite nursery rhyme. By the nursery way, rhyme. It's, uh, we have to cross yeah, that from uh, DC Comics. Though. It's uh, Solomon Grundy. Uh, can you recite it? Uh, uh, Ooh, see. Up, All right. Well, we'll give you a minute. It's a it's long. A it's a long, long nursery rhyme. Oh, well, then never mind. There's, there's it goes from, there's from there's Monday, Monday to Sunday. Sunday. It's, it's like, I mean, I mean it's, it's long to me. Nursery rhyme is using uh, uh, sweet and straight to the point. point. This one is. See, now my favorite nursery rhyme would be "Pop Goes the Weasel" because you have no idea what the hell it's talking about. How does, I have an idea. How does the weasel go pop? What is the? I mean, did, uh, you shoot it. <laughs> when you're pop, that, that means you're shooting, shooting and the weasel, weasel goes, goes pop, pop, so he so just exploded. exploded. Uh, that's, that's that's what, what I, I take from it. From it. Okay. Yeah, now my right, right probably, probably not. not. Come on, Galaxus, you got about 10 minutes. Come up with something. Come on now. You have the command. I'll wait the hour. Using a, using a pulse rifle, wait. Get me close. What? Are you using a pulse rifle? Yeah, I yeah, finally, finally got rid of my hand cannon. Forever. We said a three round uh, burst pistol. Or handgun, whatever you call it. I know one. Other games, games are actually pretty, pretty good. good. A, lot A lot of people, people don't like them because they're first. first but... Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan of pulse rifles. I mean, D2 has a couple of really good ones, and I have used them. But I, I prefer a scout rifle. Give me one big bullet instead of three small ones. I just like them because you can empty a mag really quick, do the most amount of damage in a short amount of time without it being a machine gun. In most, most games, games, it's as fast, fast as you can pull the triggers, how fast the bullets are coming out, so... D2 is just that auto mode for all your weapons, and you just hold down R2 and your pulse rifle shoots like a machine gun. Or auto rifle. That kind of sounds like cheating. Thank you. 
I died. That's And your little dog too. I wonder why they changed uh, from the book and the movies why they changed their shoes. In the book they were silver, in the movie they were red. I don't know. You know uh, I mean, yeah, I grew up. I grew up watching Wizard of Oz, and I thought it was this great movie. And then, as a teenager, seventeen, eighteen, me and two of my friends, we all had girlfriends. Like, let's make it a date night. Let's watch Wizard of Oz. So we made like homemade lasagna and popcorn, and we had different kinds of soda, and we got all lined up. And the Wizard of Oz started like twenty minutes in. We're like, what the hell is this? I like, I like Phineas and Ferb's version better. better. I bet you it was better. It was, it was amazing. amazing. I, would I would watch, watch it again, again and again and again. And again. Wait, well, you sucking kills, man. I have you. I got you, man. Is it hard to get a suntan living in my shadow, buddy? <laughs> I, actually I actually only get, get sunburn. Sun I, don't, I can't I get, get tan, tan for some <laughs> reason. I turn different shades of red all summer. I've never had a tan. I'm a ginger. I turn, I turn red. And then my red, red, goes. red. Galaxis, you are a sliver away from level 14. Uh, we got time for one more, one more uh, event. I have to go to the tower and grab the quest. Okay. I have to refill my glass so it all works out. What's the best, What's the best uh, Christmas, Christmas present you guys have ever gotten? That's been a shady question in the past. Uh, I'll go first. I already have an answer. Uh, I think I was in my early teens. And some background on me... Uh, I grew up in a family of six. Was it Mother, a red rider, baby gun? <clears throat> nope. That's my favorite Christmas movie. Mother, father, and three older brothers that were half brothers, all from a different father. They were seven, eight, and nine years older than me. So I was the baby, and they hated me. I was spoiled and until the day. I was spoiled until I was age 50. So they didn't have anything to do with me. Every now and then, one would play catch with me in the yard for a little league or something, but I n never. They, they kept to themselves. So I became an introvert by default. That's why I'm a gamer. Gamers are mainly introverts. I can entertain myself. I always grew up entertaining myself because there was nobody else there to entertain me. So my greatest gift, I think when I was like, I maybe mean, it was like 11, 11, 12, I got a huge Lego set for Christmas. And I could build and imagine and do anything with them. I was making spaceships. I was making uh, space ports out of cardboard. I could build houses. I could build walls. I could build fences for my army men. And I could play for hours by myself. So I'm going Legos. Have I gotten better and more expensive ones? Gifts? Yes. I mean, Game Boy was pretty big. Um, even uh, the Coleco little handheld football games those things, I could play that for hours I got really good at it I have a uh, Coleco thumb to this day where I can press a button with my thumb super super fast uh, how about you? The last mission. why not? not high enough level Okay, uh, do you want to wrap things up? You want to go do like a legacy strike? Do you qualify for that? They're not even showing up on my screen. <laughs> I can just launch a random strike though. Okay. Uh, Galaxus, what was your best Christmas present? Growing up. Um, I don't know, I'd have to say Legos too. 
Nice. Well, Legos are genius. Absolutely ingenious. Wait. Um. For one of my Christmases, I got got two swords. That'd probably be my favorite. Okay, were they actual swords? Metal? The blade? You could cut things? Oh, yeah, or... yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think that I was... Seeing? We can feel it. Maybe, Maybe a little bit young. Okay. I mean, I got a BB gun one year. That was that was you pretty sweet. Thinking of, you know, a Christmas story. This the hive I got a BB gun when I was 13. That was, uh... And, you know, when I was a kid... We were we were outside all day, on the weekends. We weren't allowed to be inside. Yeah. I mean, my mom packed me a lunch. As soon as cartoons were done, I was out the door, and I expected to come back till dinner time. My grandpa gave us a very very realistic BB gun. Uh, oh, I, I had one that could, I could I could kill rabbits with my BB gun. He pumped it up. It, we're supposed to pump it more than five times. I pump it like 25 times, and I, I kill rabbits with it. Oh yeah, they, 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 they leave a mark anyway. No, no, if you pump them up enough, they can actually kill people. If you hit them in the eye, at least. I don't know about Well, that was a good shot. Not, 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 not quite that good. We're in the summoning pits. When I, when I was five, five my brother was, was like seven, seven my, my dad, dad got us his bow and arrows. Uh, oh, I loved archery when I was growing up. So you would give a 12 year old a bow and arrow. That was stupid. Oh, dude, I got, I got really, really good at it. At it. Um, especially especially when uh, we, we had it in church every, every day, day after, after um, the preacher, preacher, you know, the preacher was, was done. done. Uh, he let, he'd, he'd make us stay, stay around, around for archer practice, practice. and we would practice for like four or five hours. Uh, you know, there's a tradition of that. In England, uh, the priest was obligated to train you in war techniques, and archery was one of the techniques that the priest were <laughs> mandated by law to teach I'm not sure all why prisoners. We did it. I think we just did it for fun. Hard mode, hard mode, hard mode. Uh, yeah, no, I won. I won my uh, I think eighth grade uh, gym class archery contest. I bl I I believe I won. I might have got second or we tied, but I was up there because I knew how to control my breathing. I knew how to hold the bow. I knew how to aim from the distance, like three inches above the bullseye. Our coach was not uh, happy about us doing it. Uh, he was very. Uh, um, touchy, touchy, I guess? I guess. I don't know. He was, he was always, always afraid, afraid that we were going to actually shoot somebody. He wasn't he was sure if we could handle the drawback on the bows. Because the, the strongest drawback on one of them was a black and red bow. I think a 20, it was a 20 pound drawback. All the other ones were like 10 or 5 pound drawbacks. He didn't think that I could pull it back, but when I did, no. he started letting me shoot with that one. Was it a compound bow, so it had a break to it or yeah. no? Okay, well, yeah, you guys, once you got a break, you hold it indefinitely. But he was, he was not, he was not too keen on letting people use that. I think it was me and one other kid that were the only ones that could pull it back. So we were the only ones allowed to use it. Um, so you're a, you're a big kid, was, aren't you? That was fifth grade. Um, well, then I wasn't. Then I was probably, I don't know, uh... Maybe 120 pounds. It's really, for me, that's small. Like right now, I'm not small at all. I'm starting to sense it. Shouldn't be long. Okay. I'm I'm around 200, 510, 200. Six one uh, and two eighty five, I believe. Wow, Jesus! Yeah. I, 
From what my Marine Corps instructors told me, I have to get to 220 because of my height. But I only, I only have like maybe 25 pounds of fat, so I know I'm not going to get down to that. He said, if you can't get down to that, like if you get down to 5% fat and you know you can't get any lower, he said uh, they'll they'll start doing other things to measure your size. Uh, I'm not sure how they're going to do that. But he said it really it really doesn't depend on all that. You just have to get a lot of fat. But for, for me, I'm Jack. I'm stronger than most everybody in my family. Even my dad's so it's hard for him to even get it. Yeah, you heard me mention how my brothers are seven, eight, and nine years older than me. Uh, and when I was in high school, I could beat them all at arm wrestling. I beat, I beat my, my dad, dad at arm wrestling when I was 12, I think. We're getting closer. And I don't. I don't know how old my dad was. Let's see, my mom was 19 when she had me, so. Thirty something. Thirty one. I think. I don't know. I would say thirty one. Uh, I can't do math in my head like that. Thirty one sounds right. I remember one day my dad um, like bothered me while I was playing games. Like he kept tapping my shoulder. I was trying to do something and I kept it on, so I got mad and I punched him. And he said I hit him like a grown man. Wow. All my all my friends and my brother, my brother who's two years older than me and all of his friends who are, you know, twenty like early twenties, late twenties, they uh they have all started calling me He Man because of how absolutely uh, strong I am. One of his friend groups called me He-Man, the other one's called me Hercules. I'm just able to do stuff that they can't do. Even my friends who play football wonder why I don't play football, because they said I'd be amazing at it, but I just don't know. It doesn't seem fun to me. Well, you get to legally hit people. Yeah. I, I enjoy boxing more than I do football. Well, at least it's changed up. I remember one football game I played when I was a kid in my front yard. Someone elbowed me in the nose and had my nose bleeding. And, um, I think that's the, well, not the most I've ever been hurt. I think the I most I've ever been hurt while playing football was I, I busted my head open. I busted my head open like five or six times. Crazy thing is I've never had a concussion though. And I've never had a broken bone, which is very weird. Wow. I've had one, one broken bone and about 13 sprained ankles. Dude, my town's so small that I've actually been put in the newspaper like four or five times because of, uh, I, I've never had any cavities. Like, my whole life I've never had cavities. And they put me in the newspaper because of that. That's newsworthy? Wow, that is a small town. Yeah. I just remember waking up one morning, morning my grandma was screaming, she's like, oh my gosh, you're in the newspaper, I was like, what for? She said, oh, you don't have any cavities, so they put it in the news. I was like, yeah, I was like, that's a good thing? She said, well, considering most people have uh, fake teeth nowadays or metal ones because they have some cavities, she said, yeah. I'm like, oh, okay.
There's no way you're still alive. Gave him eight Gellerhorn rounds in my super and he was still alive. Not to mention the damage you guys were doing. The abomination has been destroyed. The Vanguard would be great. This is where you get the really good uh, snipers. A creature of the dark has been slain. And our world spared another atrocity. Didn't ask. How many more hive abominations are still out there? Growing among the darkness. I fear we may find out all too soon. Why is all this armor like it's always, always terrible for me? It's kind of so level we're playing on. Okay, guys, that wraps up the stream for tonight. Uh, we can continue these uh, missions at a later time. Uh, I want to thank you guys personally. Wade, thank you very much for being on the stream. Uh, Galaxis, thank you very much for letting us help you out. Look at the kills you got. You manned up. All right. Okay, guys. Uh, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Give me a like. I'm uh, trying to grow the channel. Those things help out a lot. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys.